Hey, what's going on guys? It is Chuck here and today, as promised, we have another Firebot video. So today's video is going to be a little bit on the shorter side. What we're going to be doing today is going through my personal Firebot setup. and I'm going to show you how I'm going to be going through and updating preset effect list uh, variables as well as custom variables to the new shorthand version of each. So this is a task I'll be doing over the next few days, I'm sure. Uh, but we're going to start off doing that today. So I want to show you how to do that, what it looks like. Uh, so that way you can go and use these new tools as well in your own Firebot setups. So with that said, let's jump into Firebot. We're going to start with conditional effects. So we're going to go in and we're going to update the condition here. And we're going to replace the custom variables with that double dollar sign. Now this is a great place to actually make these types of changes because as you saw, the conditional effect logic is actually quite long. So by shortening it using this double dollar sign, when I hit save here, a much shorter version of the condition at the top. We're also going to go in and make a change to this custom variable and clean up and shorten this custom variable. Now let's take a look at preset effect lists. You'll see here we have three arguments in our preset effect list. And I use this preset effect list to handle all of my alerts. We're going to go in, we're going to replace this custom variable again with a double dollar sign. We're going to go through, we're just going to keep making these cleanups here. And now we get to go in and adjust the preset arguments. So we're going to go through here, we're going to replace it with a dollar sign pound sign and then hit save. I've got a file path here. We're going to update the same thing. So dollar sign, pound sign, clean up the brackets, and then hit save. We'll just go through the rest of this. And you can see you can make the same changes here in an HTML element. You can update the HTML and hit save. You can see how easy that was and also all the benefits of shortening down those variable names. Well, that's it for today's Firebot video. I do have more videos coming. One of the things I'll be showcasing soon is how I do my stream intro, which is completely controlled by Firebot. So I'll be doing a walkthrough and mini tutorial about how to set that up for yourself. So keep your eyes on my channel for that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Peace out, stay classy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.